Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through Jurgensen's test. Now, the purpose of this test is to look for pathology of the long head of biceps tendon, in particular to see whether the transverse humeral ligament is torn or not. Now, the transverse humeral ligament sits horizontally across the anterior part of the shoulder and runs in front of the long head of biceps tendon. It keeps the long head of biceps tendon in the bicepital groove. So if it's torn, this test will indicate a problem. Just before we start, we wanna mention that we're only gonna be doing the test on our patient's right arm. We're not gonna slow your video down by doing it on the left arm too, but of course in clinical practice, you always wanna compare both. So here's how we do the test. We start with our patient's shoulder in neutral and the elbow flexed to 90, and then the forearm is fully pronated. The examiner is going to have one hand on the anterior part of the shoulder to feel in the bicepital groove where the transverse humeral ligament and long head of biceps tendon is situated. Now just a quick tip on your handling for this. If you put your hand on the front of the shoulder, don't bring your fingers too far across towards the coracoid process. Have them a little bit more laterally where just the edge of your fingers are gripping onto the anterior part of the shoulder. So what are we going to ask our patient to do? We're going to ask them to supinate the forearm and externally rotate the shoulder at the same time. And you might have to show your patient this movement a couple of times so that they get the hang of it. In order to resist that movement, the examiner places one hand in a C-shape on the posterior aspect of the distal forearm. Okay, so we're gonna do the test by asking our patient to reproduce that movement. Push away, push away, push away, and relax. So what's a positive result in this test? Well, if the transverse humeral ligament is torn, then you may, the examiner may well feel with their testing hand either a clicking or a snapping around this area, which is the long head of biceps tendon flicking in the bicipital groove because the transverse humeral ligament is not supporting it properly. The other possibility is pain, which could be a positive test to show you a long head of biceps pathology. So what do we tend to find in clinical practice? Well, we quite like Speed's test a little bit more than Jurgensen's test. And this is backed up in textbooks and randomized controlled trials that it's more effective in diagnosing a long head of biceps tendon pathology. Now, one of the, re one of the reasons why this might be, in our opinion, is because this test is wholly um, reliant on your patient's ability to reproduce that movement. We sometimes find in clinical practice that in order to try and generate as much power as possible, your patient might elevate the scapula, they might also abduct the shoulder, so that when you do it, they kind of do this kind of thing in order to try and generate more power for the test. 